In question four, we're given a graph that represents the favorite fruits of students in grade six. What we have to determine is which of these other representations of the data matches the data that's given here. Well, let's start by interpreting the data given in our graph. The first bar represents the number of students who liked oranges the best. We can see that it's 5, 10, 15 students liked oranges. And we can write that down here. We'll say that 15 students liked oranges. The next bar represents the number of students who liked apples the best. And that would be 5, 10. 10 students liked apples the best. And we can write that down as well. 10 students liked apples the best. The third bar represents the number of students who liked grapes the best, and that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 students. And let's write that down. 25 students liked grapes. Now let's compare these data with the other forms of representation. We'll start with this line graph here. So for oranges in this representation, the number of students who liked oranges is 5, 10. And the number of students who liked apples is 5. And the number of students who liked grapes is 5, 10, 15, 20. And as we can see, if we compare these values, they are not the same. So therefore, this is not a representation of the data given here. Okay, let's now look at the stem and leaf plot of these data. So the stem would come from the tens digits here. We have ones and twos. So we'll write those in there. The leaf part comes from ones digits. So for ones we have both 5 and 0. So we can write that in there, 0 and 5. And for the 2 we have just one digit, the 5. So we'll put it here. So that's what the stem and the leaf plot should look like for these data. Let's look at the one that we're given. We can see that it's not correct. The 0, 5 is with the 2, not with the 1 that it should be. Therefore, this is not an accurate representation of these data. Okay, let's move on to this, this option here. So, in this case, the bars are given horizontally. So, let's look at for oranges. And we can see that the number of students who like oranges here, 5, 10, 15. The number of students who like apples is 5, 10. And the number of students who like grapes is 5, 10, 15, 20. So if we compare these values, 15 with 15, that matches. 10 apples matches 10 apples. But these grapes here, 20 versus 25, don't match. Therefore, this is not an accurate representation of the data. Okay, let's look at the last option. We're given that these circles here represent five students. So what I can do is I can say that this is five, this is five, and this is five. So for oranges, the number of students like oranges would be five plus five plus five, or 15. For apples, it would be five and five. So five plus five would give us 10. And for grapes, we'd have five, 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 5 and 5. We add those up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So if we compare these values to these values, we see that they're identical. Therefore, this is an accurate representation of the data.